my fellow autistics. I am so sorry. It's been almost literally forever. Oh my god. Um, I just realized my voice is super loud and I was giving myself a self-sensory hell. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I am back and this week's video is going to be about my thoughts on self-diagnosis. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I did that because honestly, it's such a, um, it's such a controversial polarizing topic. It's almost like Hillary or Trump. Ugh. I said almost because it's not quite like that. But um, lots of people will say, oh, you're self-diagnosed, you're a special snowflake, and you're not actually autistic. And I've had a couple of, like I think I've mentioned before, I've had a couple of school psychologists be like, yeah, you're not autistic. Um, one of them knew me fairly well, the other one knew me kind of well, I'm not even sure. But um, <clears throat> um, they um, they were like, you're not. Um, they haven't tested me, they just said that off the top of their heads. And um, there are other people who are like, yeah, self-diagnosis is so valid. And it's so crucial and, you know, and I fall into that that category. Um, for in, in my experience and in my um, from what I've learned and from what I've um, seen and from what I've heard from other people, um, self diagnosis is the only way that they figured out they were autistic. Um, there are lots of reasons that people either don't want to or cannot uh, pursue a formal diagnosis. Um, money being an issue. Um, money being an issue, um, um, transportation maybe, um, the, the waiting list might be really long for a diagnosis, there might not be adults specializing in diagnosing in your area, um, diagnosing ASD, uh, or people specializing in diagnosing adults with ASD, there you go, that's more of a complete thought. Um, so that's the thing, a lot of people will sit there and say, oh, you don't want to pursue a diagnosis, you're not actually autistic. Um, you don't know that. <laughs> lots of people who, um, lots of people who, um, who are autistic, I mean, how do you, how do you pursue a formal diagnosis when you're adult? You first self-diagnose, you figure out you're autistic. Um, there are lots of people that just don't want a diagnosis. There are lots of people that do, but they can't afford it, or they can't get to the area, or they, they can't get one for any number of reasons. Um, and that's my thing. Diagnosis is, self-diagnosis, the, the whole point of this video, is extremely valid. There are lots of people that will tell you it's not. There are lots of people that will say, you're not autistic. Um, the... Um, the issue is people who are self-diagnosed, um, will often, um, feel self-doubt. Um, like speaking as a self-diagnosed autistic myself, there are lots of times someone can say one thing that's, um, that's even remotely, uh, remotely implies I'm not autistic and then boom. That whole day, I've got anxiety. I'm not autistic. I'm not autistic. And then it, it kind of knocks off my whole thing. I'm not gay. I'm not. Um, and that's the thing. It's, it's very damaging to be um, told that you're not when you know you are. And so my whole, my whole point of this video, self-diagnosis is very valid. And it's also valid to change your mind. If you are self-diagnosed and you decide you want a formal diagnosis, that's fine. And if you decide you don't want a formal diagnosis, that's also extremely fine. So either way, in my book, you're fine and you're awesome and you're just, you're living your best life. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, if you've got any requests for videos, please leave them in the comments or tweet me. Um, I, I won't, um, I won't ignore you. And if I can't answer the question, then I will just, you know, I'll, I'll politely be like, yeah, I can't answer this. But most of the time I will. All right, thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with your friends, holistic or otherwise. And I will speak to you guys in the next video. Bye.